The use of stops can be a great way to protect a position and automate some of your trading ahead of time. But how do we actually play stops on options within the Webull app? That is exactly what we're going to be going over in today's video, and we're going to go through the entire process step by step. Now, I'll be sure to cover how to do this on a position you already hold in the account, one you already have open, as well as a part of a brand new trade. Beginning with that very first example, how to place a stop on one of our current options contracts, let's go ahead and head over to the accounts page by coming down here to the Weeble icon at the very bottom of our screen. Within that accounts window, we can actually see the total value of my account, we can see how much buying power I have, but then more importantly, we can actually see the current position I have. So in my case, you can see I've got a SoFi $8.5 call that expires on the 12th of August. I only have one of them, and if I look to the right, it's got an average price of three pennies right now. So let's say I actually wanted to put a stop loss order on that option contract, saying if it ever dropped below a certain price, get me out of it because I don't want to lose any more money. Now doing that is actually incredibly simple. We will simply click on the contract itself. It'll then bring up an analysis page where we can actually see my break even points, how much I could make, how much I could lose. But then more importantly, we can actually see two big tickets down at the very bottom to either sell to close or buy an additional contract. Now remember, in our case, we did want to put in a stop loss order. So we're going to come down here and hit sell to close. That'll then bring up two separate windows where I could outright just sell the contract or I could hit take profit stop loss to create a bracketed order. For this example, we simply want to put out a stop loss order, not a take profit. So all I'm going to do is hit the very first button, mark sell to close. You'll then see it immediately takes me to the order ticket where I can first see a nice little chart of that price history for this contract right at the top. And then more importantly, I can actually specify my order parameters down here below. Now, in this case, I do want to start from top to bottom and I do want to leave it as a sell ticket. However, I do want to click on the word limit here and flip it over to either a stop or a stop limit. You guys can see the descriptions down below each of those to see the difference between the two, but basically a stop order is a stop market order, meaning if it ever goes down to my activation price, put out a market order to get me out immediately. Now the only issue with that order ticket is we don't know exactly what we could fill at, because theoretically if that option has a wide bid ask spread, we could end up filling well below what our actual activation price is. Now the other one, a stop limit order, is actually very, very similar. However, instead of a market order going out there, a limit order goes out there. So that means we could actually specify a lower end threshold. We could say, hey, if this contract ever goes down to five cents, get me out, but don't sell it for anything less than four cents. But obviously do a little bit more research into the differences between those because neither of them are going to be the perfect solution. There's risk with either one. Now in our case, we are just going to use a regular stop in this case. So I'm going to click on the stop here. Looking below the order type, we can then specify our stop activation price, which in this case is currently three pennies. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And let's say if it ever drops below two cents, get me out of this thing because I don't want to lose any more money. I could also adjust the number of contracts, but in my case, I only have one. So I'm going to leave it as one. And I'm also going to flip the time and force over from a day order to a GTC order. So now looking here, what I'm essentially saying is if this contract ever drops down to two cents, get me out because I don't want to lose any more money. And I want this order to work indefinitely, always putting that stop out until the option expires or until I close it manually. Now, since I am happy with this order ticket, I do want to place it. I'm going to come down here and hit the sell button. That would then open up the order confirmation window where we would just confirm we filled out everything correctly on the previous screen. And if everything looked correct, which in this case it does, we would simply hit confirm at the very bottom if we actually wanted to place it. Now in my case, I don't actually want to place this trade, so I'm just going to go ahead and click away from this order confirmation window. But that's going to be how you guys will place a stop loss order on one of your current positions. Now in order to do this on a brand new trade, let's go ahead and first exit out of this little window here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button one more time. Now what I want to do is actually pull up a stock that I want to place an order on. And in this case, we'll come over here to the markets tab. And I'm going to come up here to the search box in the upper right hand corner. From there, we'll go ahead and type in the stock ticker of the stock we wanted to trade. In this case, we'll throw in Rocket RKT and go ahead and click on it in the list below. We can then see the stock profile page opens up with a bunch of info like the company's financials, a nice little chart of the price history over time. But in our case, what we want to do is actually come over here to the options tab at the very top and go ahead and click on that. We can then see a list down below of all of the options expirations available for Rocket. So here we can see 12 August, 19 August, 26 August, 
And in order for us to actually place a trade, we will simply click on the expiration we wanna open first. So in this case, I'm gonna open up the 12 August expiration here. I can then see a list of available strikes right down the center. And in this case, let's say I was actually bearish on a rocket. And for this one, I wanted to look at buying a, let's say $10.50 put. So right here, we can see that $10.50 put is currently trading for three cents by four cents. And in order for me to actually place the opening trade ticket, which is what I need to do first, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the current asking price of four cents. You can again see it takes me immediately to an order ticket where we can see a little price history chart right up on top of that actual contract. And then down below, we can actually specify our opening trade parameters. So in this case, because I do wanna place a stop order right behind my opening trade, I do need to click on the word limit here to adjust the order parameters. You can then see a list of all of the very simple order types available on Webull. And then down below, we can see the group orders. What we're gonna do is actually click on the very first one, which says limit plus take profit stop loss order. And now you can actually see besides the opening trade, you can actually see a take profit and stop loss order right below that. So let's go ahead and first set our opening parameters. And for this one, let's say I only wanna buy this contract if it drops down to, let's say three cents. I'm then gonna go ahead and specify how many contracts I wanna buy. And for this one, we'll just leave it as one for right now. I could then adjust the time and force if I wanted to, but for right now, we'll leave it as a day order saying if this order does not fill by 4 p.m. Eastern, just go ahead and cancel it. Now that I'm happy with the opening parameters, I can then place my either take profit or stop loss order right behind it. For this one, we don't actually wanna have a take profit order, so I'm just gonna come over here to the right hand side and deselect that. So now I'm essentially saying I only want the stop loss order to go out right behind my opening trade, not a take profit. So what I'll do next is actually adjust the stop parameters. And for this one, I'm gonna adjust it down to, let's say two cents. And I'm also gonna come down here to the time and force box and adjust it from a day order to a GTC order. So now what I'm essentially saying is I wanna buy one contract at three pennies today. If it doesn't fill today, just cancel it. I don't want it to go in. But if it does fill today, I do want a stop to go out right behind it to work indefinitely to get me out if it ever drops below two cents. Again, these prices don't really make sense. You guys probably are not gonna be using stops if you're trading options that are this low in value, this far out of the money, but this is how we would do it. And if everything looked good, we would simply hit buy at the very bottom. You can then see here, it gives me a little order confirmation screen, just again, listing out everything we just specified on the previous screen. So here it says, I wanna buy one of these contracts with a limit price of three cents. If that fills, I want to get stopped out if it goes down to two cents. And you can even see here, it gives me the estimated PL. I would be losing a dollar on this trade. Now, if everything looked good and I actually wanted to place this, I would simply come down below and hit the confirm button. You can then see it takes me to the actual order status window where we can see this as an open working order to actually try and fill and buy me one contract at three cents. Later down the line, if I wanted to adjust this in some way, I could simply click on it and then either adjust the opening or closing parameters and then hit place order once again to replace it. If I were to back out of it, I could also just hit the X button on the right hand side if I wanted to cancel it or hit cancel advance order down at the very bottom. We can also see this as a working open order if we back out of this for a second. And if we actually came back over to our account screen, lots of canceling here and come back to the Weeble icon at the very bottom to get our account screen. We can then come up here to the orders window. And there again, we can see all of our open orders at the top and actually all of my either filled or cancel orders are right below that. Since I do in fact want to cancel that, we'll just go ahead and click on it and we'll come down here and hit cancel advance order and hit yes. But hopefully after all that, you feel a lot more comfortable with how to place stops on options within the Weeble app. If you do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys are looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next video.